we will study the effects of polycythemia in my first video i have explained what is polycythemia and what are the types of polycythemia polycythemia can also be physical uh, physiological but can also be pathological the pathological polycythemia is called erythremia while the physiological is called secondary polycythemia the effects of polycythemia on circulation is uh, studied in today's video uh, now we will study what are the effects of polycythemia we know what is this polycythemia polycythemia means that here is increased number of rbcs when there is increased number of rbcs the hematocrit percentage will be larger and whenever there is large amount of blood cells in our blood there the blood will be more viscous the blood is viscosity will be increased blood viscosity will increase now what happens to a viscous thing this a viscous substance can flow slowly sluggishly so same here our blood viscosity is increased which can cause the sluggish blood flow now if there is sluggish blood flow there will be decreased venous return because the blood is too slow to slow to uh, return towards the heart so there is decreased venous return the second effect of polycythemia is blood volume increased why blood volume is increased we have read in our previous video that whenever there is large no amount of rbcs the uh, the blood volume will be increased about twice in as in case of polycythemia vera blood volume is increased if blood volume is increased there will be increased venous return because large amount of blood is flowing and if large amount of blood is flowing then there will be increased venous return so two effects are here one is viscosity which can lead to the decrease venous return and what is and the one is blood volume increase that can increase venous return now study now have now see what happens one effect tends to decrease the venous return and the other effect tend to increase venous return so the two factors can more or less neutralize each other and the overall effect will be none overall effect will be zero there will be no not as as much effects of polycythemia on our circulation because the two effects <clears throat> the two factors can neutralize each other because but the one thing because there is large blood volume arterial pressure can rise arterial pressure can rise but the blood pressure compensatory mechanism usually offset usually return it to the normal value if the arterial pressure rises in limits but if arterial pressure rises limit lessly then this can lead to the hypertension these were the effects of polycythemia and a person living at high altitude or living with polycythemia vera shows a ruddy complexion ruddy complexion means red red skin reddish skin why there is red skin because there is large number of rbcs when there is large number of rbcs this will give a red color to our skin a reddish color a reddish tint and also ruddy complexion with bluish tint now what is the logic between bluish tint why there is bluish tint because we know that due to increased viscosity the blood has become sluggish now blood has become sluggish it will pass too slowly to the sub papillary plexus venous plexus of our skin which is present under the skin so when there is sluggish blood flow the hemoglobin will be deoxygenated while passing when the and the deoxygenated hemoglobin is blue in color or dark purplish purple blue in color so the patients or the persons with polycythemia usually shows the ruddy complexion with bluish tint bluish tint is due to deoxygenated hemoglobin inside the rbcs because of sluggish blood flow and the ruddy complexion is due to increase amount of rbcs inside our circulation these were the effects of polycythemia thank you so much for watching this video